Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today, we're going to be doing Facebook SDK integration for iOS. Before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you watching these videos, and I hope that this content is helpful for you. So today we're putting on our developer pants. This stuff is definitely a pain in the ass, but the way it works is you have to do it all the time. So once you just do it over and over again, you'll get better at it. This is just part of the process of making games. If you have a game, you want to have basically three kinds of SDK integration into your build box game. You want Facebook, you want game analytics, and then some kind of ad serving software, whether Apodil or HazeApp or whatever. You want in all your games because you want to know if when they're playing your game, how often are they playing your game, just like basic analytics. And with this information, you can just learn more about your game. And, and honestly, if you're going to work with a the publisher, they require this stuff. This stuff is already mandatory. So you might as well just get into the habit of doing it. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So I just finished my third game on BuildBox and I have literally added this Facebook SDK integration like seven times. But right, step number one, you need to have created the app on your iTunes App Store account. It needs to have a bundle ID and it also you need a Facebook page for your app. If you don't have a Facebook page for your app, just go make one right now. It's really simple and you're gonna need that information as well. So yeah, this this link, developers.facebook.com, getting started. So quick start for iOS. Go here, here's my game, Color Swipey. You wanna download the SDK. And then once you download it, you also want to create a folder in your in your documents folder. So in my documents folder, I actually don't have a lot of stuff, but I created this Facebook SDK and then I just put everything in here. I'm not exactly sure why you have to do this. I just know you do have to do this. And then you want to grab these four frameworks and put them into your Xcode project. So let's go ahead and open up my Xcode project. So we need to grab these four. It's uh, Bolt, Core Kit, Login Kit, Share Kit. And now that these are highlighted, let's go ahead and drag them under the frameworks right here. And you want to make sure you always select Copy Items if needed. I don't know exactly how that works. I just know every video I've ever seen, somebody's always clicking this button. So boom, now we have them here. Okay, so now that you've moved the frameworks over under the file, you want to go to Build Settings, Look for framework. Go to framework search path. You want to add where those frameworks are located under your documents folder. So it should be just like this. And now once this is there, then you're good to go. Okay, so now we want to go to our p.list and add this code. Okay, so this code is here because I have already created my Facebook page. Now I just go to where I have my game and info.plist. You want to open it with a text editor. So not Xcode, but a text editor. I use Sublime. I think most people use Sublime here. Go here, copy. Paste. Cool. Save it. Close it. Okay, then next we go to next. Now you want to add this line of code into your appdelegate.m file. So basically you just follow these steps. They try to make it easy, but if this is your first time like copying and pasting code, it's it's not easy. It's you you cannot you can make zero mistakes and you have to make sure everything is perfect. Okay, so next we need to grab this line of code here and we want to find where it says void application did become event and then paste that in there. The void application did become, what was it? Did become active. Did become active. So we just take this and I'm just going to put it right here. Okay, next we need to find did finish launch with options and copy just this. Okay, we want to put it above the return yes. So did finish launch with options. Did finish launch with options here. Turn yes, looks good. Next we want to grab here from this dash all the way to bottom. And you just want to create some space under the return yes and below this and then you paste. Okay, so now we're pretty much done. What you want to do is you want to go to your Facebook developer page for the app. Scroll all the way down where you see last mobile app installed. And then you can just go here and hit play. 
and then this will run a version of the game on a simulator within your computer that should trigger the Facebook SDK and show some data under here last mobile app install. So the last time I did this was 17 hours ago. You know, I just try to make sure I follow all the steps and data seems to populate, so that's great. And it's pretty fairly simple. You just copy these lines of code. You have to make sure you do everything perfect and there is no typos because that will just stop everything from working. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas of other tutorials you'd like to see, please let me know. Until then, I will see you next time.